How's it going everybody? This is Petey from SupplementReviews.com. Today we're going to be reviewing a newer product from Neon Sport, a branch of Cellucor, Volt, their pre-workout. Um, one thing that I always like about Cellucor, they do an excellent job with their packaging. It has nothing to do with the product whatsoever, but it is kind of cool with the rubberized lids. and It just feels cool in your hand, you know? It's like a nice heavy lid. I mean, you could bludgeon somebody to death with this container. It's so thick. Anyway, it kind of jumps off the shelf at you, and uh, more importantly, let's take a look at what's in this product. Is it going to volt, or is it going to fizzle? Hey, we'll find out in a second. All right, first up, it's a volt, pre-workout, berry pomegranate flavor, 36 servings in here, meaning 36 scoops. Taking a look at the taste and mixability here, it's actually a pretty enjoyable stuff to drink. It isn't the best pre-workout I've ever tasted, however... You know, it isn't terrible by any means. Um, it mixes perfectly fine. I didn't have any mixability issues with it there. However, berry pomegranate, while unique, is kind of an odd flavor. I enjoyed it. However, um, you know, it's not something that I'm going to be, you know, knocking on the door to try um, every single time and demand they create another pre-workout nut flavor there. So for taste and mixability, it's an average 8.5 out of 10. All right. Moving on from there for supplement facts. This is uh, the bread and butter here. It's a cheaper version of um, Cellucor, uh, I guess, mainstays. So as the off branch here, with uh, 36 uh, total scoops per thing here, so by one scoop you got um, the Volt Performance Matrix at 2.3 grams of beta alanine, L-citrulline, and L-agmatine sulfate. So the thing that I'm looking at here is if you're looking at one scoop with this alone, it is going to be underdosed. 3.2 grams is a magical number for beta alanine, well, citrulline generally at a gram, and agmatine sulfate at least a half a gram is what they want in there. So even if you have half the amount or even a third of the amount, it's going to take two to three scoops to equivalent, um, get the equivalent of exactly what you need to have an effective, or I guess clinically validated um, amount of these three ingredients in your pre-workout. So that is one thing that I, I, I like the three inclusions here but I just don't like the amount that they're included in. I feel it needs a little, little bit higher, and that's going to take away from the value, which we'll talk about later on. They are also an electric energy blend, including caffeine and hydrous, Nordella rosea, uh, root extract, olive leaf extract, and um, uh, roll via ex root extract and NADH. So um, from the energy perspective of it, I'd like to know exactly how much caffeine is in here. I do like the Rodelia. Oh my gosh, can't even talk today. Uh, the Rhodiola Rosea root extract in here. This is in a few other products that I really enjoy, such as Compete for My Force Nutrition, for an endurance factor in there, and for a mental focus um, aspect of it. Uh, it's unique seeing olive leaf in there. I haven't seen that in a whole bunch of other things. Um, so overall, for the electric energy blend in there, it has 206 milligrams, so once again, it's not going to be over the top in terms of any one of these ingredients. But if you're rocking that two to three scoop serving there, it's going to be a little bit higher um, although it's not listed exactly how much of it is in their total. So overall, from an ingredient profile standpoint there, um, it would get a pretty high rating in terms of what they put in here. However, the thing with the ingredient profile that I'm going to have to take away for is that it is underdosed. Um, with only 36 scoops in here and, you know, 2.3 grams for the performance blend in there with the beta alanine, citrulline, and agmatine, and only 206 milligrams for the energy blend, you know, it's going to take two or three scoops to get like an effective dosage for most people in there to either feel this product or to get the benefits from it. So, I like what's in it. However, it's underdosed. So once again, it's going to have to be drugged down quite a bit here. It's going to get an 8 out of 10. I like the idea. I think it misses though in terms of uh, the overall dosage here. Alright, so... Talking about an effectiveness one here, the pumps are going to be good. However, I did rock, have to rock three scoops. Focus was once again good with three scoops. With one, felt little to nothing. Two, eh, it was all right. Three, that's where you're going to start hitting a sweet spot here at the very, very um, highest point of this here. And, um, you know, it's a good product. However, it is going to take quite a bit of powder here to get the effectiveness that you're going to be looking for. So for effectiveness-wise, at three scoops, it gets a 9 out of 10. With you talking one to two, personally for me, um, you know, it wasn't that great. But uh, from my perspective, once again, based on a three-scoop serving here, you know, it's going to get a solid 9 out of 10. But however, you know, it's going to take quite a bit of this product to get the desired effect. All right. So with a 9 out of 10 effectiveness rating here, let's talk about the value. This is where this product suffers the most. 
It's priced just like any other pre-workout for this container here at 36 scoops. Um, however, the thing that's going to get drugged down is if you're rocking three scoops like I am, I mean, that's significantly um, cutting down the amount of, uh, you know, uh, workouts in this thing. You're going to have 12 workouts here rocking three scoops of serving. So that value that we were talking about earlier, just because everything is a little bit low in terms of the uh, dosage-wise here, it's going to suffer pretty badly. This is going to get a 7.5 out of 10 in terms of value. Just because it takes quite a bit of this stuff to get to be the effectiveness that you really want it at. Alright, so the 36 sounds good. However, when you really get into it and you realize, wow, you know, I need three scoops of this stuff. Once again, for me, to be effective, you know, that's going to definitely drag down um, the value for this. Overall, I like that it's simple. I like the ingredients that were included in this. I don't like the dosage-wise and the flavor, you know, it's all right. It's not great, but it's okay. So for overall with this, it's going to get a solid 8.2 out of 10. It's not the best pre-workout I've tried, but then again, it's definitely not the worst. So, once again, 8.2 out of 10 for effectiveness and, well not effectiveness, but overall for this product. So, if you see it on sale, you know, it is pretty, it's worth a try. However, keep in mind, you know, if you're less stimulant tolerant, you know, you might be you know, a little bit better suited for a product like this and it is kind of nifty looking and it definitely you know it's something different to give a try to so once again i like the novel idea i like that they're branching out however you know let's go back to the drawing board a little bit up the ingredients there and you'll have a much solid, more solid product for what could be a very very promising blend if the um, serving size is increased with the amount of um, i guess servings included in the container there at the same price point you know we'd be looking at a better overall product so this has been Petey from SupplementReviews.com, reviewing Volt from Neon Sport, a branch of Cellucor. Make sure to follow us on all our good social media stuff. Keep an eye out for free supplements each week, both on our forum and on our Facebook page, and to stay up to date on all the happenings of SupplementReviews.com. Everybody, you have a good day.